ESPN Deportes. As today's starting grid is being revealed to you across the top of your screen, uh, let's uh, revisit some of the key storylines we'll be following today. Here's Nate. And Doc, even the numbers could be on Jimmy Johnson's side today. If he clinches his fourth trophy by winning his eighth race of the season, it will be his 48th career victory. Vince Welsh. Well, if Mark Martin is to achieve victory today and challenge for this championship, his team needs to have a perfect day in the pits, earn some positions on pit lane, and maybe at the end of the day, he'll be in victory lane. Doc? Thank you, guys. 43 drivers have visions of victory. Two of those are chasing history. The points leader has never won the season finale. And the last two years, the driver starting fourth has won the race today. That would be Martin Martin starting outside of row two. Folks, it is time to make history here in Homestead, so buckle up as we turn them loose for the final time in 2009. Jimmy Johnson pulling by four car lengths. If he leads the lap, the magic number for his championship will change. Mark Martin trying to get there. Now, Mark Martin really tried to get there. He got a big start there, spun his tires, and trying to get up there to keep Jimmy Johnson from leading this lap, but he's not going to be able to do it. Jimmy's going to get those five points. Jimmy comes down and leads to getting those five points, and now he only has to finish 27th or better to be the champion. Yeah, and that may sound easy, but these guys aren't geared up to finish 27. They don't know how to do that. This is what they know how to do is lead these races. But, man, we have some racing going on. Look back here. Two, three, sometimes four wide already. 33 car. You see Clint Boyer up on the high side. His teammate in front of him, Kevin Harvick, 29 car. And there's Ryan Newman looking for his first win in 2009. Right behind them, I thought Tony Stewart working the top of the racetrack right off the bat. That's unusual to see him doing that. He's usually right on the bottom. We heard Rusty Wallace talk about it. They're down in turn one and two right now. There's a little more grip there. It's already getting some shade on that part of the track. But as they head down the back straightaway and go into three, that's what gets the most sun, the slickest part of the racetrack. Mm -hmm. Again, a reminder, it is a 400-mile, 267-lap race, and the final third of this race will be run in darkness. And here comes a 29 car. No surprise that Kevin Harvick is this quick, given how well he ran in happy hour. Yeah, he had a huge run down the backstretch this last lap. I don't know if he drove the top or the bottom. I just looked back there on the backstretch. He was passing like two cars, it seemed like. Got this baby rolling on the top. Yeah, that's what you'll see, these guys that on the top, keeping that momentum, really looks like they have a lot more horsepower when they get to the straightaway. Shannon? Been a very uneventful weekend for this 29 car this weekend. Coochie told me it's been pretty good, but Kevin Harvick mentally has been in a great mood. You guys, that is 90% of the battle out there on the racetrack. He won the Truck Series Championship this weekend, and he has a great car here today. Same car that he finished fifth with at Texas. That was a mile and a half track, just like this one. Yeah, when, when Harvick's happy, he's hard to beat. <laughs> Early laps here. Four laps complete. Jimmy Johnson now has led all four. Marco Ambrose, the impressive sophomore season driver in second spot, and now Mark Martin is third. Yeah, see, Mark hit one of those seams down there, and whenever you do that, it really loses the front end, and he went way up the racetrack in three. You heard Mark Martin say in countdown he's going to have to hang on to his car during the daylight. He thought his car would really come in and be very good once it got dark. Yeah, what he's saying, too, that, that he was going to be basically committed to the bottom of the racetrack, and he knows that he might have some parts of the race that are not so good because he's doing that. This might be the part of the race that's not going to be so good for him. Kevin Harvick thought about going under him in turn three and backed off. Yeah, and I saw Jimmy Johnson just in front of this for the first time take a lot higher line through turns three and four. I don't think you can get a, a lot of laps out of your tires and see Kevin Harvick make that pass on Mark Martin. Watch this. Right, right here for Mark Martin went in the corner trying to chase down Marcus Ambrose, run right on the bottom of the racetrack, and then all of a sudden, this thing, look at that, turned sideways. Yeah, he crossed over that part to where the banking changes right there, and if you're not careful, if you get your right side tires right on that, right in the middle where you're trying to carry that speed, you can find yourself in trouble. Back up front, Jimmy Johnson is leading, but Marcus Ambrose is moving in. The margin now, about five car lengths. Showing that qualifying run was not a 